Hey, welcome back to the Ron Gunner channel. I know it's been a while and this video has been long overdue. I apologize to first you, the viewer, and to uh, the great sponsor, Johnny Custom Glocks, or Go Johnny Custom Triggers, however you want to say it, but I think it's really Johnny Custom Glocks. And this actually fits more into that than just the triggers do. So, let me explain a few things. Um, this gun was fit, finished, and assembled, and everything figured out by Johnny himself. Now, he is known. Uh, here is a 42 pure carry trigger case. That's in one of my 42s. Uh, and you can see it's Johnny Custom Glocks. But he's known for triggers. So anyhow, this is a little different for him. He's branching out. I don't know exactly how many he's going to do a year, but he told me to go ahead and promote the entire gun, okay? He built this from the ground up for my competition. This is my new 2019 gun. It is a 34, correction, it, it's, it's a 34, but the only thing that's actually Glock is the frame. That's the only Glock part on this gun. The slide is a 34 slide, but as you can see, it is a Alpha Wolf slide. The barrel is the Alpha Wolf threaded, and this is the uh, 34. You see how it's made to curve, right, with everything. The uh, Wolf Alpha compensator. So, and by the way, this beautiful Cerakote job uh, was done by Chris at Loki Tactical. There's their logo. This also has a cut on it uh, for an RMR. I use Seymour RTS-2s, and I don't like them on the slide anyhow. I use Carver mounts. So Chris just had a uh, cover made for me with their logo put in it and put it on there. So he did all this. Now there's some wear on it because it, when you get something Cerakoted, if you've never had anything Cerakoted before in a gun, there's going to be a few issues in the beginning uh, just because of tolerances. Now some guys are going to say, well, Glock got tolerances, you know, a mile wide. Well, that's true for a factory Glock. This is a hand-built Johnny Glock's Glock. So there's slide tightening. There's uh, working on the tabs. There is a it's a lot tighter than factory. So yes, Cerakoting can screw with you for the first uh, 25 rounds maybe. Now, this, I've waited a long time for this gun. And at times I was impatient with Johnny and <laughs> bothered him quite a bit about it. And Johnny, I apologize for that. Uh, but I can't say it was well worth the wait. Extremely well worth the wait. By the way, I'm in my shop. The, the, the sound you hear in the background is a ceiling fan that sucks air out of the shop. So I can't, it automatically comes on with a light, so I can't shut that off. I apologize. This is my little bench where I do some uh, reloading, and usually I work on rifles and build rifles on this. This is one of five, yeah, five benches in here. This actually happens to be the smallest. Um, so I wanted to let everybody know where I was. I'm not at the regular place where I do the videos. And again, I am sorry for such a long wait. There, you make plans in life and things change and your plans go out the window and you got to deal with it. And that's why I haven't been here. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, <clears throat> get back to this. So this was, initially, this was a uh, silver, plain metal, and it almost looked like it had a, a slight jeweling effect done to it. And uh, a couple days before the gun was supposed to even ship to me, um, I get a text from Johnny, and he's like, hey, what color do you want? And I'm thinking, well, I, <laughs> I never thought about it because I thought, if, you know, frame black and uh, slide that, you know, sil silver kind of looking, you know, jeweling on it. He's like, oh, no, no, no I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it uh, Cerakoted for you. So pick a color. Well, I already have the blue one that I use and have used for the last few years. And I thought, well, let's, let's go red. So he real quick sent a uh, 
via text message. He sent like three or four pages of colors and I was to pick one and I did. And then I didn't know, I didn't know if he was doing, it. I didn't know nothing about it. Uh, so again, he sent this to Chris at Loki Tactical and Chris did the Cerakoting and Chris also did the beautiful stippling job. A lot better than I could do. I've never claimed to be a stippler. Matter of fact, uh, the only stippling I do, I've done on the blue gun myself and it's not for looks, it's for function. You know, I'm always looking for that perfect grip. So this is the blue one, by the way. And both these have Johnny's, well, at the time I got this, it was his newest trigger. Uh, it's Overwatch shoe, flat face shoe on both these. He now has his own aluminum shoe, which I am waiting on to get here so I can put him in here. Um, hint, hint, Johnny. And so I did the stippling on here. And as you can see, it's nothing pretty. Uh, I tried to do a little bit of a design, if that's what you want to call it, just to see uh, all I wanted was to finish. Now, I will say, when you get aggressive like this, you do not need anything on the sides because just your, your the palm of your hand and your fingers is what, what's actually holding it. So, and as you can see, there's a flag in there, so there's nothing in it. So this is uh, regulated to backup pistol now. Always have to have a backup. In fact, I have a backup backup pistol. One that I won in a match a couple years ago. It's regulated to the third backup now. So anyhow, getting back to this. Uh, Johnny did all his slide work on this. Chris did it. And again, it's the Overwatch, Overwatch flat shoe. With everything else is Johnny's. Um, I just can't say enough for, for the man. I mean, he's, he's known for triggers. He makes the absolute, and I'm not just saying that because I'm his first and longest sponsored shooter. I'm saying it because I've tried, up until I got his trigger, I tried every other Glock trigger available, who ones that all claim to be the best. And uh, they just couldn't hold a candle to his. So I used his trigger first and paid for his trigger uh, people say, oh, you sponsored, you get, you know, you're saying, oh, no, I bought one and used it and fell in love with it. And I thought, man, he's, and this was before, this was four years ago, five years ago, maybe. I don't even remember. And um, he was so far ahead of the game with his triggers. And now he's just that much more. And again, with his new uh, Johnny Glock aluminum shoe that he designed and is having manufactured, he's starting to just start selling about a week ago, I think. And I should have a couple coming, along with another trigger for my 34, or no, I'm sorry, my 43. And then uh, a banner, because wouldn't it be nice, folks, to see a video on Johnny's stuff with a banner in the background? Now, if you look, well, I don't want to shop, but I mean, you see, I deal with uh, BMC, uh, Timney up here, Wilson Combat, over there is Burger, AccuTac, Bipods. Everything I deal with, I put everywhere decal stuff to advertise when I do these videos. I also do seminars, radio shows, and write. Um, so wouldn't it be nice to have a Johnny Glock banner? Or even have the gun sitting on the banner, maybe? Or banner right? Anything. Just, so got that, Johnny? The banner, too, brother. Along with decals. You got decals. I never got decals. Nice Johnny Glock's decals here. All right, enough of that. Let's get back to the gun. Um... This slide is, again, Alpha Wolf uh, stainless steel, non-captured, Alpha Wolf barrel, uh, Loki tactical, beautiful stippling, or, well, beautiful stippling job and beautiful Cerakote. So let me put this together and show you. Like I said, this was the trigger before the aluminum shoe. I have a 10-pound spring in here, so it's, it's absolutely nothing. That's why I even have the racker off, because I didn't want to take all this off to get it off. Uh, but I mean, it's I can just do it like that with a pinky. Ten pound spring is sweet. I'm telling you right now. And if you got a compensator, and if you have even a bigger compensator, like on this one, okay, you need that ten pound spring. Matter of fact, on this one, I'd go nine if I could find one for a 17. <clears throat> okay, again, this is a 34, or uh, yeah, I guess it's 34. So anyhow. Uh, I got the gloves on as I've been working on some stuff, cleaning. So I don't know how well that's going to show up unless I do this. But I want you to see 
nothing to rack it, never had a light primer strike ever. The trigger pull is under one pound, but watch this. Ready? That's it. That's the take up. That's the take up right there. Now watch, watch the wicked reset. I mean, that is, that is the shortest. And I'm actually, I'm doing it left-handed for the camera. I shoot right-handed and I also split this finger wide open today with a razor, razor blade. So it's all patched together and glued and screwed and so I could do it with that finger and show you how at real time. I am a reset shooter. I do not do this. I do not do that. That right there, ow, that right there adds up on your time. Overall, your splits, your overall time, everything because of this. And when you go to do this, you shoot this way and you go to go fast, you end up slapping it and what, watch the gun when I'm doing that. The gun's moving. So now you're off target. So that quick and then this is that's so what little bit and I do mean little bit of pull you have in the very beginning is only on that first shot if you're a reset shooter now I plan on doing another video of this at the range I have one that I sent John uh, Johnny uh, the day after I got this and showing him how fast I was able to shoot it then and that was within the first 50 rounds and the first 25 You know the Cerakote had to wear out a little bit on where it needed to be uh, It's even faster now As a matter of fact the more I shoot this the, the faster it gets and the better the trigger feels now I will say this and Johnny said it in his videos numerous times Whenever you go to show a trigger put a magazine in it now again fingers off trigger put a magazine in it with a dummy round, you want that pressure up in here so everything's lined up and ready to go. That's when you get the true feel of his triggers. Now I do not have one in here, uh, so this feels this doesn't this. I mean that's still not what it actually is. Had I had the mag and a dummy round in here, but he's right when he tells you that. A lot of people think, oh boy, that's that's just him. No, it's not. It actually makes a difference at least on his triggers. It puts the pressures where they need to be. It lines everything up as it needs to be. You get the actual feel of the trigger with a dummy round and a mag in there. So anyhow, but I wanted to show this quick video on this. Um, this video is long overdue. And I would like to thank Chris at Loki Tactical for the beautiful stipple work. Uh, the fabulous Cerakote job. And uh, I'd like to thank Johnny for building the entire gun. Now... He told me to advertise not just the trigger, but the entire gun, because you, you can call him and order your own hand-built Johnny Glock's custom race gun. I, I know he's not going to be doing a lot of them a year. I have no idea how many. Uh... When him and I first talked about this, he was even undecided. You know, he was just going to build them for me and his other shooters. Uh, I think he sponsors now three total, maybe four. I am honored to be the first and the longest sponsored shooter from him. So when we start talking, I know he's, you know, he's 150% go, 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 and go more on the triggers. Especially now with the new aluminum shoe that he designed and is having manufactured for him, that he's getting them delivered, put them together, sell them. Uh, he sells them in a, in a kit. He, if you already have one of his triggers, he'll sell you just a shoe. I think that's what he's saying or planning on doing. But you already have to be a customer. It's not something he's going to do regularly. Mostly, it's buy the kit or send the gun to him and let him do it. Uh, so. I have a couple coming, one for this one, one for the blue one. Or I may just use the one in here and keep the other one for backup. And use this one, and the one that's in the blue one now, which is the same as this one, and keep this one for backup. I, I don't know. i got to wait till they both get here. I'm probably going to end up putting one of them in each gun. That way, when I pick the gun up to shoot it, if I need to back up, I have the same trigger feel. That is 
very routine. You need to have the same hand position, the same trigger feel, everything in each gun. Remember that also. All right. So anyhow, uh, when we first started talking about it, I knew how busy he was. So I told him maybe six a year. My my personal thought on it. That gives him two months to build, uh, you know, to build the Glock for you. I know that's not a lot, but to be absolutely honest, the man is swamped right now with triggers and people sending guns to him to set him up. Um, I think six may even be a push for him to do it. But I tell you, man, he did the fit and finish. He did slide tight. He did everything on this. And this thing, well, I'm shooting this on my phone, so I can't add the video into it. But I wanted, uh, The other video I do at the range, and I'm going to include the first video I did showing how fast this was. I have... I don't know. I, I, I've, I've had every Johnny's competition trigger up to the new one, which I'm waiting on again. Um, and he just, I, you, you think the man can't do any better, but he does. He's constantly evolving. He's constantly challenging himself. He's never satisfied with this is good enough. This I'll use this trigger for the next five years and advertise and sell it. That's not him. He builds it, puts it in a few. Uh, I was one of the first ones that got this trigger. It's a, it's a Gaston, he calls them. But it's f extremely fine-tuned Gaston. And I probably didn't have this trigger for three days before he's already working on the next one or next improvement. The man's never satisfied. I call him the Einstein of Glocks. That's just my way of saying you're a genius. So anyhow, um, call him up. Go to his website, which is uh, www.johnnyglocks.com. His phone number is on there. Call him up. Talk to him. Ask him about if you're a competitor or want to be a competitor and you want the perfect Glock. See if he's still going to do these or how many he's going to do a year. Because I asked him specifically, do you want me just to do the trigger or your entire gun build? He said the entire gun build. So that tells me he's going to do some. How many? I don't know. But be the first ones to get in there because I know it's not going to be that many a year. I guarantee it. Um, so, again, I'd like to thank Chris at Loki Tactical for the stippling and the Cerakote. You may, well, well RTS, uh, RTS2, Seymour's, I love them. They're on all my race guns. Uh, all the Glocks have the carver mount like this um, and I have this is the first time I've ever used a lone wolf uh, or a wolf uh, comp I've always used carver comps before love them this one's working out fine uh, only time will tell and the build I mean I was getting videos from Johnny and pictures updates as he was working on it I mean, if, if you're trusting a guy, and this is an old, old trigger, but if you're trusting a guy to do a trigger for you, what better than to have him build the entire gun around your trigger? Think about that. Yeah, it's not going to be cheap, but it's going to be worth the wait. I know mine was. I love it. I want to thank my brother Johnny Glocks for picking me up as his very first sponsor and longest sponsored shooter and uh, for everything he's ever done for me I mean the man even came here to my shop from Florida to work on a gun before a big match a match of 500 some people so you can't very few companies do that and what I like about Johnny is the trigger is built by him the fit and finish is done by him the final assembly and testing is done by the man. So have him build your gun around your trigger. It'll shoot like no other Glock you've ever had in yourself, ever had in your hand, yourself, anybody else, ever. So give Johnny a call. Check him out, www.johnnyglocks.com. Tell him Ron Gunner sent you. He'll like that, trust me. He may even have a comment or two. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Check out Johnny and watch for more videos on this at the range and the speed this thing has. It's unbelievable. Talk to you later.
Peace out, brothers and sisters.